हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोहान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन Excitement is building as we see Iraq taking concrete steps toward its stated goal of entering the international financial market. This progress should boost confidence in Iraq's trajectory toward global integration. For those considering early retirement due to the potential increase in the Iraqi dinar's value, it might be wise to hold off until this momentum solidifies, especially with the upcoming election season, which could bring changes in leadership and policy directions that might impact Iraq. The recent establishment of a full floor at the Central Bank of Iraq for the US Treasury has sparked concern as this level of presence signals significant intervention. Reports confirm upcoming meetings between Iraq's Central Bank, the US Treasury, and the Federal Reserve by the end of August. Speculation suggests that following these discussions, Iraqi officials may bring back long-awaited progress on the revaluation RV front. While the anticipation is high, especially with Iraqi sources suggesting this weekend may yield positive news. There hasn't been a major breakthrough yet, and contacts in Iraq remain hopeful that pressure will lead to an exchange rate shift aimed at curbing U.S. dollar reliance. Sunday is anticipated as a possible date for developments, so we'll soon see if expectations are met. As for the rumor of Iraq printing new currency, the Parliamentary Finance Committee clarified that there's no plan to issue new paper currency. particularly with inflation in check currently all eyes are on the awaited exchange rate adjustment which seems to be the key trigger needed to move forward with other initiatives like the WTO and HCL which are essentially stalled until the rate shifts prime minister sudani frequently addresses iraqis on the topic of increased purchasing power fueling optimism it's reported that lower denomination notes are being introduced at the street level in iraq implying a limited timeline for the dinar to become tradable internationally possibly on forks they've prepared banks retailers and exchange houses with sample notes detailing security features and a committee is educating the public about the anticipated price adjustments the clear direction here is toward lower denominations not the reintroduction of higher zero notes which would be inflationary and contradict Iraq's current inflation strategy ultimately The central bank has made it clear there is no intent to print new high denomination currency signaling a decisive step toward a revalued and more stable dinar. 